It looks absolutely disastrous today. I just shook Stevie Wonder's hand. because it's gonna have to run up like this. I want it to have some wiggle room. My only thing is like it sticks out past the wall. Yeah, it's gonna meet up with the boards that we put up. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. I'm not an electrician or anything. <clears throat> have I told you I loved you today? No, you haven't actually. Well, I do, desperately. thinking about running them under this lip here. Zip ties, because there's holes here. I don't see why that shouldn't work. See these little notches? They just gotta be punched out so the wires can run through. To be honest, it's kind of a pain. You have to kind of get like a sheetrock knife and cut them. Like, see, that just like bends it, but it doesn't necessarily like pop it out. Hey, it's just the life I'm living. It's never easy. So I had a bit of an uh oh moment. So we could run an outlet underneath the bus. This is actually access to underneath. So I was drilling it originally and it was perfect. And then I ran into this piece of metal under here. I should have checked before I started drilling. So I tried drilling right next to it and it caused this wood to split. So I just put some wood glue on it and it'll be fine. But just a little hiccup on as well. Sean, I think you forgot the henway. What's a henway? About two, three pounds. <laughs> Look at those sunglasses. Look like Jason Bourne. That's what I'm talking about. I think I should put a support here. I don't know. If you're gonna put wood there, you're gonna need a beam there. You're gonna need a beam there. And you're right, you're right. We wanna put an outlet on that wall. And this is too big. Or does it stick out a little bit? It should stick out as thick as the thing that you're putting on there. Oh, so like a, like yes. a quarter inch? So yeah. this is probably perfect, actually. Well, is it a quarter inch that you're putting on there? Yeah. Because that's important. Who needs power tools? Come on. I need power tools. The fridge line is just about done. It's gonna have two outlets in it, so we'll be able to plug the fridge in and like in case of emergencies, plug something else in because the fridge will have it on a 20 amp breaker, but realistically, it's not gonna need that. It's very low wattage. And it runs, 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 runs along this, up through this hole that I drilled around here. This will all be tightened and fastened in eventually. Comes around there, down this piece of wood, and then through, and then my breaker box will be probably around here. So when you're running these wires through the wall, ooh, drill is filthy. I looked up online and I was curious if you could run two wires through the same hole. While it might not be a huge issue, you're better off just running parallel holes up the wood. I also was using an inch thick drill bit and it recommended three quarter inch. So now on, I'm gonna use this. Okay, so we've run our first circuit. All right, you are. And then our second line, we're gonna run this way, through here, through here, through here, down and underneath, into this wall. It's gonna be an outlet on this side and on this side. Then it's gonna run along the top here, area, and into the kitchen. What are we doing here? The only thing that's gonna be like kind of challenging is eventually I have to make sure there's lengths coming out of here. Ow! 
fudge. Running our third circuit here. What do you think of our room, Dad? It's awesome. Wow, this beam is pretty warm. Yeah. You know, Home Depot, they gave you that dusty wood. I should say, it was on a trade show we were talking about cabling. Cool. cool. Recording studios and it's like, man, isn't it great when, you know, it's like you have all these patches and I'll just kind of feel and patch things in and all the different sounds and then the tape. And I was like, I sold tape. He goes, you sold tape? What type of tape? BASF, you know? He's like, that's so cool. I went in for the handshake and it was like, I just shook Stevie Wonder's hand. Look at you, Sean, you're an electrician. Uh, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I've said it and I'll say it again. Just throw the damn hole. Yeah, we're gonna go buy a little shop back today. Making really, really good progress here. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's definitely just the next step. Tonight, we are going to see one of our favorite artists play, Cash Out. <laughs> down to is you don't want overheating in the wires so you don't want wires rubbing up against each other you don't want a lot of movement a little bit is good you don't want it to be tight that can cause bad friction as far as securing it just use your judgment there is code every two for every four feet there needs to be a staple so for instance when you're doing a run like this that's running at about a 90 degree angle you want to keep this free so it doesn't cause a lot of, um, you know, tension and friction. So like Sean was explaining, you have to pull these wires out into like a six to eight inch loop. And this is the wire that you would cut and strip and attach to the positive and negative. And I ground. sound like a little electrician. Actually the ground connect to each other. Can't you just compliment my electrician skills? Super smart and beautiful and it's not fair. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh.